What's up guys, and welcome back to some more r slash scrap mechanic. Let's just jump right into today's first post. Torsion bar is very strong. Let's check it out. Oh, that is some satisfying stuff. Up next, we got some fan art. I wanted to draw a new profile picture, and I thought, why not make it represent me in some way? So I added a spud gun. I guess you can call it some kind of fan art. Ha! <laughs> Would you look at that? It's a fox holding a spud gun. All right, here we got a building. My art, a city, made with Kalur. Oh, that's so super cool and simple. You just do a little RGB and put a bunch of blocks and it makes a cityscape in, in Kalur. Oh, that's super cool. Very creative, very big brain. Here we got a meme. Going to warehouse, expectation versus reality. Is it, this is the expectation? Expectation of going to a warehouse versus reality. Oh gosh. <laughs> the rea yeah, that, that's kind of the reality of the situation. My gosh, how did you get... Man, you had all of them coming after you. Not a single red one, though. Built a cargo ship and a shipping yard fit with a fully functional crane. Now this I gotta see. Dang, that is a massive crane. So wait, how did they get it going? Is it just, uh... It's just like rails on low friction parts? Like slidey slide around? Pretty cool way of doing it. X, Y coordinates, bunch of pistons, oh. You can definitely tell that this is uh, in scrap mechanic, like, uh, <laughs> the, uh, you know, otherwise the shipping yard would be like full, full, full of other crates. Even the boat over there, but uh, actually, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm really curious. Let's see, put on the boat. Also, your the ship, like, looks like the Ark. Like two of each animal type of. Why are there bubbles coming out of the person in the seat? What? And there they can show that uh, they can drive the arc around. Nice. Good stuff. Shrinking sumo platform, no mods. Let me guess, it's gonna be a lot of cardboard. Lots and lots of cardboard. Yuppers. Pretty cool to see the time lapse of it. Shrinking smaller and smaller. It started out pretty small too, though. I think uh, I think I would have preferred a sumo arena that was a little bit larger. Shrinking sumo platform is an awesome concept. Always a lot of fun to have, assuming your game doesn't lag like crazy. I built a Mondial's top scan ride. What the heck is that? Carnival ride, carnival ride. Let's go. Oh heck yeah! They even got the like the locking bars and everything looking great. Come on, zoom in, let me see, let me see. Nice. Nice, you can even see the seats are like on a loose bearing so they just flop around. Yeah, spin them around, spin them around. Oh, it's exactly like the ride. Nice. Where's the first person follow cam? Let's, <laughs> wow, that was uh, some real whiplash there for a second. Yeah, I've always wondered, I've always wondered like how rides uh, sort of like get away with that loose bearing thing. I mean, there's always, there's always gonna be some dude that's just like, this ride isn't enough and he just like forces the thing to swing as much as possible. Good stuff, good stuff. You know, carnival rides are always a fun thing. <laughs> Nice. Automated turret I found on the workshop does a backflip and snaps the tote bot's neck? This I gotta see. What? What? <laughs> this one is not like the others. All right, here we got a post that just says, Van. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> what? Um, what? All right, all right. Fair is fair. I was not expecting that one. <laughs> like, what? Man. <laughs> oh, that's great, too, with the upside down seat. The steering wheel, like that, on the top looks like a dangling little trinket on the rear view mirror. And it just turns right back over. 
playing for the first time and they just found this building. Is it a warehouse or is it safe to enter with just a sledgehammer? Oh, that's, that's, uh, that is not a warehouse. That is definitely safe to enter with just a sledgehammer, although there would be a few bots in there along the way, just hay bots mostly. But it should be pretty safe to enter with just a sledgehammer. Here we got a chemical plant. Oh, nice. Okay, so they just got a bunch of pumps. They're actually collecting chemical. Do we even do anything with chemicals in the game? Like, we can make explosives and stuff. I know that, but, uh, a little bit overboard by having nine pumps. Yeah. All right, so there's the little office in this, uh, chemical plant outpost. Only one employee stuck here for the rest of time. Managing the pumps. Good thing they've got an internet connection. Here we got a vehicle sponsored by Sunshake. Sunshake. An entire pickup truck made out of wood. A wooden pickup truck painted entirely for Sunshake branding. This is how they deliver their milk inside a giant wooden truck. Wait, that's not how they deliver milk. They deliver Sunshake. Sunshake. Been testing out some different suspension systems today. Here is my display of all suspension systems I've tried today. Being a space nerd, I think you can tell which one is my favorite. All right, space nerd, what do you got for me? Well, hey, that's a pretty interesting way to test suspension. I mean, technically speaking, this is scrap mechanic, so that that suspension system should work just fine. The wishbone, like the single wishbone, I genuinely have no idea why people build those. Double wishbone, I can kind of understand, because there's like extra tension on the bearings, but those glitching suspensions uh, don't look too good though. <laughs> yeah, like these things too. Like I, I just, uh, it's asking for my car to freak out and flip over. Oh, hey, they're using suspension, so they're pulling. They're, they're using the tension of a uh, closed piston. Okay. Right. <laughs> well, I don't think it has anything to do with uh, being a space nerd. I think it has everything to do with uh, you building a dedicated creation just to show this suspension type. I'm pretty sure this one's your favorite. <laughs> yeah, that's always cool. The main bearing on top and the small bearing in the back, splitting into the two. Great way to build. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> uh... You know, I just take back what I said. <laughs> what I was going to say. I'm not even going to say it. Good stuff. I bet this will look nice. Oh. Oh, oh, they wanted to use they wanted to use the uh, the old mattress thing as like a box spring under their new bed. And it's just not quite the right size. Shucks, man. Shucks. Why do we even have two things of two different sizes? <laughs> Scrap mechanic, why? <laughs> Here we've got an improved version of my overcomplicated yet satisfying folding table. It now sits flush with the wall when closed. Tables that fold, show me. Transform! <laughs> Neat. Why did it have to go in though? Maybe I want a bigger table. That one extra block of tabletop. Oh, it's just so it like folds the entire thing. It takes up the entire volume of that space. That's some efficient stuff. Like that's like a Japanese apartment. Like a, so you know, tiny, tiny, what do they even have? Like a hundred square feet? Like everything folds out of the wall. Even their fridge or something. Like it's tiny, tiny. <laughs> is that, is that the, that's the toilet over there, right? Like <laughs> tiny, tiny, tiny. <laughs> Here we get some fan art. My scrap mechanic cosplay. Really? Really? We got some cosplay of... Oh, God. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's funny. Uh, yeah, yep, 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 yep. Backpack metal thingy sticking out. Yep. <laughs> I'm pretty... Okay, so I'm pr Like, I did they even... Co this person didn't even cosplay. They just found a random picture on the internet. Is this even them? They just took a random picture on the internet and just be like, bam, this is my cosplay. <laughs> ah, meme stuff right here. Simple, but beautiful stuff. Wow, just wow. Oh, oh. Wow, indeed. Holy moly, wow, indeed. <laughs> I mean, I like how everything actually has a nice, uh, unique paint color to it. But man, oh man, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What do you think their FPS is, huh? Place your bets down in the comments below. Do you think their FPS is above or below one frame per second? <laughs> <laughs> Here we got some tank suspension. Yep, this is how my torsion bar works. Mmm, torsion it. Give me the swirl. Wait, 
Wait, so it's just a, a pipe piece and a curve? Like they're not actually powered bearings? They're not actually powered bearings. Yeah, they're just, they're just using a physical stopping point. And you gotta love uh, derpy scrap mechanic physics. Parts will like sort of cushion into each other by like phasing into each other a little bit. Good stuff, and like a very unique way of doing it too. Like I, I don't think I've ever seen that one before. I mean, I've definitely seen uh, people using, you know, torsion bar stuff before, even powering them with engines and not powering them before. Uh, but like I've never really seen this sort of like, this is how they set up the stopper and the arm thing and the... All right, here we got a, ga here we got a Gary trap. Almost said that one wrong. Gary Trap. Oh no. Oh no. No. It's just, it, oh, I know exactly what this is. No. <laughs> oh, lo <laughs> oh, look at that last frame. Beautiful. So wait, which one's Gary? This is too much fun for a ruin. Oh, you got a golden garment box, a banana, and some fuel? Dang, dude, that's a pretty good haul. What, from, like, from, seriously, just one, one loot box? No way. No, that's gotta be a good loot box. Gotta be the rare kind. Here we got a car, but with legs. Even more reasons for angry New Yorkers to say, I'm walking here. So let's, uh, I'll walk. <laughs> Okay. Oh wow, what? I mean, one of the first things that I'm thinking of is um why? <laughs> but then I see it and then uh, it all becomes clear quite quickly. And the steering's in the back. Just pivot that tiny little Oh my gosh. Isn't there actually like a use for that? Like there's actually like a machine that does exactly this. I can't uh, for the life of me remember what it is, but I think it's um like used in road work uh, when they put down a lot of the fresh asphalt. They actually have a machine like this that uh, quite literally like goes across stepping on the asphalt, patting it down. Very close to reality, much more than you think. Going to the trader be like, this is only two days ago too. This is, this is some good stuff. <laughs> It's a TikTok, that's why. It's a TikTok. Yep, yep. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Once a month. Into the thick of it. At least one. Oh. There's always going to be a post like this. <laughs> and I love it. It's so true. We're tramping through the bush. Oh. Hey, look at the smile on that guy. He knows. He knows exactly what he's doing. Man, the power on that. Like, they, uh, those things are heavier than you think, I think. <laughs> That's exactly like Scrap Mechanic, though. Good stuff. I can see why this was upvoted so much in just two days. My attempt at building a multi-track drift train. Uh, this one, I think we saw something like this in the last one, too. But I guess this is somebody else's attempt? Let's see what we got. Okay. Okay. What the heck? <laughs> so wait, where where did this even originate from? That it's a train that takes multiple tracks? Oh wait, no, I know exactly where this is from. I know exactly where this is from. This is from the um, the trolley problem. And uh, you know, people are always like debating over like, do you make it go on one side or the other? And then the meme started where you're just like, nope, drifting on both of them. That's, I think, I'm pretty sure that's where this is all starting from. All right, here we got an air vehicle that's faster than these dang missiles. You know, that's always a good thing if you're in a military fighter jet and you can outrun the missiles. That's always gonna be a good thing. All right, let's check it out. No sound, no sound. Tiny, tiny jet. Wow, okay. And then you turn on the afterburners and what? <laughs> Those are kind of very slow missiles, I gotta say. Those missiles are a little slow. Walker version three. I said I was gonna post this yesterday, but I got carried away building. What? Hold on, what? Strand Beast, that's the, that's the name of this stuff, right? These Walker designs. All right, kind of a neat little way to, huh. 
You've even got a bathroom and a shower? <laughs> why do you, why, so this is supposed to be a, a survival base, a mobile survival base. Nice, even an adjustable office chair. Oh, 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 oh my. Oh, it even has some extra features. Oh, ho. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't turn, I get it. it uh, you have to thrust her the heck out of it. I mean, it's got enough bearings on it already, but uh, I, I don't know, maybe you could have put, uh, I don't know, no, no, no. No steering bearings on the front and back. That's not gonna work. What is this? Oh, oh, that's a thing to launch yourself. Cool, man, so many features. But that's actually super cool, cause like you bring this thing up to a, a warehouse and that thing just launches you right up. Very dangerous and risky to do, but uh, exactly my style. <laughs> all right, emergency stop switch. Look at all the bearings though. Oh, I don't know if I can handle that. And by, I don't know if I can handle that, I mean, I don't know if my computer can handle that. Mobile base truck survival on the workshop. Mobile base truck, mobile base truck survive. What the heck is this? Is it a mobile base? Is it a mobile base truck? Mobile base truck? Mobile base truck survival on the workshop. It's a very pretty truck. I gotta say, immediately off that, like first photo out of six, already this is a very adorable, very beautiful truck. What is even this on the side? I don't know, but I like it. What is, oh yeah, it's a survival truck, duh. <laughs> I like at first, I'm just like, what is this kind of a transport truck? What are you transporting in here? A, you know, person, but, yeah, <laughs> duh. Oh, beautiful. I like the colors and everything. The red furniture like really, really contrasts everything inside. You know, this just might be the way to play survival is just not have a permanent base on the ground. And you know, by if you just saw those memes about uh, going to the trader, you don't really need to go to a farm that often, right? It's like only to haul a huge load to the packing station and just to get what exactly? I already forget. Like I already, <laughs> it's, been, it's been a while. I might have to hop back into some survival. Thrilltopia is my new scrap project and it's growing quickly. I just need to put in some shops and games and of course build even more rides. What do you think so far of Thrilltopia? Let's check it out. Dang, dude, dude, that is insane. What the heck? Welcome to Thrilltopia. Oh, incredible, incredible. Like that's an amazingly huge Ferris wheel. It, like just for a scrap mechanic build, like you, th this was this was the ride that we saw earlier, remember? Like this was the, th and that was huge. Ginormous Ferris wheel. Yeah, there's the drop tower, heck yeah. There's the teacup thingy, sort of. What were they even saying? Like uh, what other rides should they add? Uh, carnival ride, carnival ride, or games. You know, if you can add that punching thing, Hammer levels Y, because Scrapman said this game needs it. And I, like, I'm not, I'm not even gonna look, but I can already tell you like that was either a joke, Scrapman must be joking because that's definitely not what the game needs. My gosh, that's only gonna make the game worse. My, like the things that I have to say about the tiers of materials and the engine levels as is in terms of game design, like it did absolutely nothing for Scrap Mechanic and it was all inspired by the stupid engine levels that I did uh, like three years Years ago anyway so before even getting into it already definitely no hammer like axolot no 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 custom modded hammers or like cosmetic hammers yes hammer levels no oh my gosh you de don't def definitely don't start this definitely don't start this level one hammer standard you know what i uh, yeah, maybe i take it back i see these images i'm not even reading the text but i see the images and that you know the, the, Level four hammers, like Thor's hammer or something. I okay, maybe maybe I get it. It's like a rocket-powered hammer, something that you can swing at a farm bot, and you see the farm bot go like flying back like 50 feet, like that. Okay, okay, maybe that would be fun. But seriously, you gotta stop with this levels gimmick thing. Like that's, uh, I, I just I have to make another video to like properly explain. <laughs> a Reddit post that got me going. Oh, that's funny. I mean, look, 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 look. There's nothing wrong with the red post. And like I said, it like it could actually be fun. Anyway, moving on, moving on. Balance in the force. Let's see what we got. Hmm, what is better? Hmm, I just want to know. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. Strawberry walks? 
Um, yes, please. Uh, yes, definitely have flavors of walks. Yes, there was definitely a lot of discussion in the modding community about uh, when chocolate walks were gonna come out. And, uh, and what was that gonna mean exactly? Chocolate walk? You know, where where would the milk come out of a chocolate walk? But anyway, strawberry walk, is, I think, is a very safe thing to add to the game. Very, uh, it would be nice to have some variety. Like, why is there only one walk? But strawberry walks? Yes, please. Definitely 100% yes, please. Definitely add different flavors. I need that choco moo and the strawberry moo. Here we got a work in progress bunker update. Redesign of the bunker front and beginnings of the first floor. Whoa, whoa there, whoa there, whoa there. Already you're going uh, like fallout with the aesthetics, right? Like is it actually a, uh, it, it is, it is a vault door. Heck yeah. All right. All right, all right, let me in, let me in. Huge, huge door, my goodness. I wonder how strong those things actually are. Cause like those are one big piece too, right? So if a farm bot was actually attacking that, those things would disappear all at once. It might actually be better just to build a lot of blocks, a huge door. Dang, dude, that's a pretty cool base. Man, it's all like cliffside too. I made a super fast rail builder. Is it, is it really? Wait, what? No way, no way that a gun pump thing can actually shoot out that fast. That's in creative mode, right? So I'm not sure if that actually works in... Sur Can it actually be that fast in survival mode? I mean, that would be a game changer, like, instantly. If that, oh, are you kidding me? If you can do that in survival mode, yes! Yes, I would instantly play a survival mode if you could be doing that in survival mode. Yes! <laughs> are you kidding me? I can't believe that. I can't believe that it's actually that fast. I, I gotta say, that's like, it's only in... It's only in creative mode. I don't believe... I gotta try it. I gotta try it in survival. <laughs> uh, looked like he forgot which way was forward, which way is back for a second. Didn't want to run off the rail. Also, very nice glass box for the rail. Giving me some good Willy Wonka vibes. Nice. Good stuff. Like, ha super fast rail builder. Yeah, no way. You modified that in some way, right? You modified it. It's 100% vanilla, but I use blueprint editing. I, that's not 100% vanilla if you have to edit a blueprint. I don't know why this is still something that people think <laughs> that it counts as 100% vanilla. Because, like, you got to understand, new players that come to Scrap Mechanic, they're like, how do I make a blueprint like this? And then they're just like, well, you got to modify it. Like, see, like, this is exactly it right here. <laughs> uh, anyway, anyway. Introducing my... Mobile Operations Center. All right, that's a huge semi truck. My goodness. Look at that, look at that. The entire thing is like twice as wide. Crazy, can, like, can you actually get that on your trucks? No way, you'd be in the other lane, in the highway. Like there's no way you could actually do that. Man, you've got everything in there. So much, like way more storage than you need. Way more beds than you need. <laughs> way more water than you need. <laughs> uh, not enough cookpot though. Definitely not enough cookpot. You definitely need more cookpot than that. Ah, the dress bot making making sure you look fresh. And here's the craft bot. Nice, nice mobile base. You got everything. Got everything you need. Look at all the storage you need. You have too much. Too much. <laughs> I would like to have too much. I recently finished building another larger Portal 2 test chamber in my world. Now featuring lasers and portals, of course. Let's check it out. So this is the same person that built the last chamber. They got all the sound effects and everything. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Companion cube. Man, the detail work is... What? See, this is the thing that I was sort of talking about where I was ranting about the hammer levels and stuff and how, like, just the game called Scrap Mechanic, besides any of the game modes, needs to be fun to play. 
and this is the sort of thing that really shows that, except that it's not survival mode, and there's mods being used. So that's the part that I think there's like a lot of, like I like I like I think Axolot is somehow convinced themselves to make their own game worse than it should be, just because they have these weird ideas about mods and survival mode. You know what I mean? Anyway, anyway, I don't want to get off on a tangent too, too much because this test chamber is actually amazing. And that's, that's the whole point. Like, that's what set me off on that tangent was because of just how amazing this is. This should be playable in a challenge mode so people actually feel like they're playing Portal. And to get that feeling in Scrap Mechanic would blow up the game, would make the game go crazy. People want to have fun with the game. So they buy, like, it's just a... The portal chamber was amazing. I gotta, I gotta clarify. The portal chamber was amazing. All right, here we got somebody that made sticky wheels in scrap mechanic. Let's check it out. Promised in, uh, they were promised to be in chapter two. Let's check out sticky wheels as a mod. Uh, is it actually sticky wheels? Like it, it just looks like you have uh, an, like a thruster on there, invisible thruster for all I could tell. I'd be interested to see like if uh, the game actually does support code for making things sticky all of a sudden. That was supposed to come out in chapter two, so there's definitely no way for mod makers to do that as far as I know, so it'd be interesting to see. Does anyone else try to keep it realistic? Do, they don't pick those up? They just uh, like carry them all to, what's the point? What? <laughs> what? Uh, try to keep it realistic. What? Because it's not realistic to have an entire car made of wood. <laughs> so, <laughs> what's the realistic part? Maybe I haven't gone out in the real world enough to know what's realistic about this. I don't know what they're getting at. <laughs> Scrap mechanic in Minecraft. The resource pack work in progress. Still a work in progress, but I can't wait to see when it's done. Look at that! Oh my gosh, they- what? Wait, 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 so oh, they're replacing- yes, because it's a resource pack, duh! So uh, is this gonna be all pickaxe? Is that the diamond pickaxe? Man, they got tote bot? Tape bot? Bigger tape bot? Older brother tape bot? And two cook bots? Who what? Good stuff! Man, I, I'm, I gotta get back into more Minecraft. I've just been so busy lately. Yes, we've got a meme. Bro, wake up, it's 2016. What? Farm bots, challenge mode. You must have hit your head really hard. Let's go play new update. They added the new weld tool. <laughs> Dude, imagine, imagine if the entire pandemic was just a nightmare and you woke up and it was like still, it was, oh God. Still 26, ah, oh my God. Yeah, the game changed in appearance so many times. Like at least two or three times. They even put a sign that says 2016. Like the way that things looked was just fine the way that it is and people probably wouldn't care if it still looked like this to this day, right? It's like the thing that people have really been after like, look at that old air conditioning. People don't necessarily want a new air conditioning model, especially when people have been asking for performance and features and and then you just give them, hey, here's a new air conditioning model. Like, this one actually looked like air conditioning, I think. You know what I mean? It's not, that's, I don't know. I, I think I like the older one better, to be honest. But yeah, like changing the game's appearance so many times is gonna be so off-putting to all of the existing players in the game. And when new players go to be like, hey, should I get the game? And they see all the existing players being like, oh, I, I dislike these changes, oh. Or, you know, just in general, people are gonna be like, oh, change. Like, you don't have to be changing the visual appearance of things time and time again just to convince us, yep, we're working on updates. <laughs> Until players see an update from Axelot that makes them go, wow, Axelot's turning their stuff around, I don't think anybody, I don't think that's how cars work. <laughs> All right, wait, 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 wait. What? <laughs> I mean, we've seen, uh, we've seen, uh, van, and now, uh, now we're taking a look at car. <laughs> vroom, vroom. 
Here, we got some modding. Let's check it out. Next generation of racing AI. And this was only seven days ago, and it's already like 349. That's, this has got to be good. Seraph presents. All right, well, I'm, I'm probably just gonna skip ahead to where it actually starts racing. Scrap Mechanic Auto Racers, Generation 7. Inclines and ramps. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know why that was just really, really funny. I mean, uh, it, it is something to uh, have to deal with when you're building AI. To, like, you don't, it, you know, if it goes up a ramp and all of a sudden flips over, like, the AI has to account for that stuff, so. Hey, that's pretty cool. So, how do they know how to do that? So, like, does it keep track of the terrain asset position or sensors on the walls or what? Like, how, how does it see far ahead with the upcoming turn? What's the butterfly? Don't think I didn't see that. Coming soon. Ah, okay, so it's not quite available just yet. When it is available, I think I'm gonna be checking that out. That's definitely gonna be some interesting stuff. <laughs> and this guy's already thinking uh, Uber and survival. I see your overcomplicated folding table, and I raise mine. <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> folding table. Let's go. Folding, folding table. Um. Oh my. Oh my, this person went all out. Huge table. The people that were sitting on the couch, right now they're having their legs <laughs> like forced and cut off and chopped off and up. Anyone that was sitting on those chairs, they're gone now. Is it true? Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. Ha! <laughs> I, uh, I I can't wait to uh, play with that uh, scrap mechanic resource pack. I haven't even played Minecraft enough to even feel comfortable with resource packs to begin with, but uh, man, I gotta get into it. I'm a sunflower. Oh, that's cute. So it, it must be like a perfect height if you're standing on your lift, like the perfect block height to line that up. This sunflower thing could actually be a cosmetic for dwarves. Just saying. I don't think that I will get my truck back anytime soon. Oh yeah, what, what's the... Uh... Oh. 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 <laughs> like, that's gone. That is just... Yeah, you're not gonna get that back. <laughs> and that sucks that that's always in your world now. I mean, I guess, can you turn it off? Who else has just noticed this? What are we just noticing? Wait, what? Are we looking at a uh, hidden uh, swastika in the game or something? Or uh... Oh, no, 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 okay, these circuit boards connect. They, they do connect the deck do 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 That's what they do. All right, coming up to the top post of the past month with 420, hehe. <laughs> Multi-angle rotation, part two. Oh yeah, this is always nice to see. That multi-angle rotation. I, I, I don't exactly remember what it was. Uh, I think like you either lose speed or torque. I think there's a like a strange effect when you try to have a multi-angle rotation like this, uh, where the new angle will actually have a different speed of rotation, and it'll actually slow down and speed up and slow down and speed up in kind of like a sine wave pattern, depending on how extreme the uh, difference in the angle actually is. It's always fun, always fun to build something like this in a physics sandbox like Scrap Mechanic. What would you use this for? I know it's, I know like a drive shaft might use it, but uh, I don't know, this seems like a little bit uh, big and clunky, I don't know. But then again, it's Scrap Mechanic, it's Scrap Mechanic, so. <laughs> let me know, let me know what you guys would actually use this for. It's called a U-joint, blah, blah, blah. Well, anyway, that was the top of the past month for r slash Scrap Mechanic. Of course, let me know what was your favorite post down in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like if you like videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.